My name is Marley Oldham and I'm a dietetic intern and today I'm going to be doing an educational video on how to perform nutrition focused physical exams. So the first thing you want to make sure that you do is wash your hands and put on some gloves. So after you've washed your hands and put on your gloves, you want to make sure you introduce yourself to your patient and let them know what you're going to be doing. Hi, my name is Marley. I'm a dietetic intern and today I'm going to be doing a nutrition focused physical exam. So. Um, Nutrition-focused physical exams, they are to support the malnutrition diagnosis and to look for any deficiencies of vitamins and minerals. So it also might be important to look at the patient's PO intakes, weight changes, body fat or muscle decreases, fluid retention, strength, and physical findings. So first, I want to take a look at your orbital region. So I'm going to lightly palpate right here of your eyes, looking for hollows and any depression or circles underneath the eyes, checking out fat stores underneath the eyes as well. Also, I'm going to check the tempor temporal muscle. The temporal muscle is going to be right on the side of the head and you're going to gently palpate each side of the head, feeling for that temporal muscle. Go ahead and just give me a nice big open close. Very good. Nice, strong temporal muscle. Go ahead, look left and right for me, slowly. Beautiful. Looking for any muscle wasting on the temporal muscles on each side of the head. So next, we're going to take a look at her arms. For the arms, you want to have your patient make a 90 degree angle with her arm. So we're going to go ahead and just take this leg here and look here. And do you mind um, taking off your shawl? So she's going to do a 90 degree with her arm and you're lightly going to um, just kind of assess the fat stores underneath the arm there. So the, thank you, you can put your arm down. Um, if you feel a very thin pinch there when we're just pinching the skin and fat, not any muscle, um, that might be an indication of malnutrition under the arm tissues. Next, um, you can, if you have a patient and you feel comfortable, um, do a thoracic or a lumbar evaluation. If you're doing that, you may have them take their hand, press against a wall, and you're going to be looking for any bone protrusions or any indications of um, fat loss. And you will see that in the ribs and see some bony protrusions if you're looking in the thoracic or lumbar region of the body. Next, I'm going to take a look at her clavicle bone. On the clavicle bone, what we're doing here is we're just going to gently touch right there on the clavicle bone, looking for, again, any signs of muscle wasting or fat loss there. Typically in your women, the clavicles are going to be a little bit more pronounced. If you have a well-nourished patient, then you may not see the clavicle bones, but you can feel the, pat, the fat pads above the clavicle um, and on the bone versus if your patient was malnourished, you might have bony protrusions, and that would be your indication of fat loss. Next, I'm going to take a look at her shoulder. So for the shoulder, you're just going to gently cup the shoulder there. I'm just going to move your shirt just a little bit. There you go. Looking again for um, the deltoids muscle or any fat around the shoulders. If you see um, very pointed um, square shoulders, that might be an indication of malnutrition or um, muscle wasting, fat loss on the shoulders, a prominent bony shoulder. You also, if you have a patient and you want to um, assess their scapula, their traps along their back, same as the thoracic lumbar, have them press against something and engage those muscles so that you can look for any prominent bones um, on the back, on the scapula. Um, you can even palpate around the scapula to feel for any fat pads or muscle wasting there. All right, so you also want to take a look at your patient's hands and their nails. So what I'm going to have her do is give me an okay sign with her finger. Beautiful. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to take a look on the inside. You can keep that okay. Nice big okay. There you go. And gently press in between her thumb and her index finger looking for um, any muscle wasting right there in that region. Thank you. Or any fat wasting there. Um, 
in your malnourished patients, it'll be very prominent, a very decreased spot there on the hand. Um, she does have her nails painted. So um, if you do have a patient that has their nails painted, you may want to take extra attention to their feet when you look at their toenails um, or just ask them. So Miss Christine, um, have you noticed any changes in your nails, brittle, spooning, any ridges or anything like that? No. No, let me just go ahead and take a quick look to very beautiful manicure there. Um, no spoon shaped nails, thank you. Um, sometimes with your nails, if they're, um, there's ridges or grooves or little white spots, spooning or soft, um, that might be an indication of a nutrient, micronutrient deficiency. Um, maybe zinc, calcium, iron, um, typically you'll see protein, not getting enough protein in their diet, um, or malnutrition in general. So the nails are a good indicator to look at for um, some nutrient deficiencies. Um, also, what we're going to do is I'm just going to take a quick look at your eyes. Um, in the clinical setting, you would have a little light to shine in their eyes. So I'm going to pretend like I have a light. And just look straight forward, just a little light here. Let me turn you back. Very good. Other eye. Excellent. So there you're looking for um, any white or gray spots in the eyes. Um, have you noticed any different in your difference in your vision, um, particularly night vision or anything with your eyes? Just in the evening when I drive. When you drive. So as as we get older, our eyesight might um, be declining. Maybe you want to see your eye doctor and get a checkup. Um, but with your eyesight, um, vitamin A is very important for the eyesight. So um, typically people who have really bad um, night blindness, that might be an indication of low vitamin A. So another thing that we're going to take a look at is the mouth. Um, the mouth can be a good indicator, especially if you're talking about PO intakes, working with a cancer patient that may have mouth or um, neck cancer, just to make sure that they are able to eat and able to swallow. So I'm going to just take a quick look in your mouth, if that's okay. Go ahead and open your mouth. Very good. And smile. Let me see those teeth. Beautiful pearly whites. Um, sometimes in the mouth you might see some swelling, some thrush on the tongue, um, maybe some redness around the lips, um, indicating a possible B vitamin deficiency there. Um, how have your intakes been? How have you been eating? I try to get my vegetables and fruits in, and I stay away from meats. Okay. So, any problems swallowing or any taste aversions? No, I haven't noticed any of that. Okay. Very good. So, eating good, good food, it sounds like, and getting enough. So, that's important. All right. We also um, will take a look at the legs, if you have that option with your patients. You have them set their legs up. She has already have, she already has her legs up on a little stool here for us. Um, when you look at the leg region, I'll go ahead and take this blanket from you if that's okay. Thank you. All right, so when we're looking at the leg region, what we wanna look for is the muscles around the knee. So you may want to, I'm just going to lightly touch the muscles around your knee. Very good. Nice strong legs there. Um, looking for any thinning or wasting of that quadriceps muscle. You might also look at the kneecap. When you're looking at the kneecap, if you see a bony, prominent kneecap, that might indicate some muscle wasting, some fat wasting there. Um, her kneecaps look great. Another thing you can do is you can check the calf muscles. So I'm going to gently just squeeze on her calf muscles, make sure she has nice, good, strong muscles. Very good. Both calf muscles are nice and even. Um, some patients, you might see some changes from left to right if they've had any injuries. Her legs look great. Lastly, I'm gonna take a look at her feet. Um, I'm just gonna check out her nails a little bit. You can put them down. <laughs> um, nails look really good. The other thing you can do with the feet is going to be an indication of edema. So what you want to do is just do a nice little depression in the foot. So just pressing lightly into the foot is what I'm doing right now. Looking for any 
um, edema or fluid or swelling in her feet. Her feet look really good. Um, the other thing you can look out for if you have patients who are diabetic, they might have some sores on their feet, um, and that's something to keep in mind when you're doing the nutrition-focused physical exam. So that concludes our exam today. Some things to consider when you're doing your nutrition-focused physical exam. Um, make sure you are introducing yourself to your patient, washing your hands before and after, um, and also discussing with them their PO intakes, any weight changes, or any um, noticeable features, maybe it's wasting in their face, do they look different in the mirror, all those things to kind of see um, if you notice any differences that might indicate fat loss or muscle loss. Also, um, if you do have a durometer available, um, you can do that for a grip strength test, or you can simply shake their hand, give me a nice firm shake. Very good. Thank you so much for your um, for volunteering today with me and the firmness of their handshake. If you get somebody with a very weak handshake, that might indicate that um, they don't have a whole lot of strength in some of your more frail, malnourished patients. So thanks again for watching. Appreciate it.